Welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to move photos or files from your iPhone 15 or iPhone 16, which is what I have here, to an external hard drive. Now I have this external hard drive and it has a USB-A connector. So I'm going to need to have a little converter here or dongle for the USB-C, which is what iPhone 15 and 16 support. Now these are really cheap and you can go ahead and get these on Amazon. I will have a link below so that you can grab these. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and connect this up here. And once it's connected, all I have to do is plug this directly into my iPhone at the bottom here in the charging port. And once we connect to the charging port, we can then go ahead and tap on files. We wanna open files first. And once we open files, we just wanna confirm that that hard drive is connected. And as you can see, this one is, it's the My Passport drive. So I'll go ahead and select that. And just one last thing, if you open files, make sure you're on the browse section here, and then you'll be able to look for that specific drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. And as you can see, it is empty. Now we wanna make sure that this is in the proper format. Otherwise we can't use it, which is the XFAT format. So if we just long press somewhere, and it allows us to create a new folder, we know that we are good to go on this. Okay, now if it is not XFAT and it's something like NTFS, I have made a video on how to format that with a PC. You can also do it with a Mac and it's very simple. So go ahead and check out the video in the comment section. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is go ahead and open, for example, our Photos app. If we wanna go ahead and move some photos over. So I have the Photos app here. I'm going to just go ahead and tap on Select at the top here. And by the way, I'm running iOS 18, so yours might vary a little bit. So once I go ahead and select some photos here, then what we can go ahead and do is tap on the Share button down here in the bottom corner. And then I can just go ahead and copy photos and then we just go ahead and go back over to the files app and I can just go ahead and paste them directly in here or I could paste them in that new folder. I'll just tap on paste and as you can see it immediately uploads those photos to be saved and you're all good to go. You can just unplug your drive when you're ready and all your photos should be saved on that drive as long as you add them individually or add them in batches. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys and if so feel free to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.